Welcome to Saving the Past. I am GD. I'm glad you could all join me today. Well, today I'm going to do a little something different here. Um, collectible silver. And um, these are some pieces that I recently picked up from somebody that got in touch with me. And <clears throat> I wanted to discuss a little bit about collectible silver with you folks. It's not my area. Um, I at one time did used to collect silver art bars. You folks recently have seen some that I picked up recently, but those are common ones. Uh, they're not really considered the collectible ones, and I picked those up pretty close to bullion prices. Um, but years ago, I did have some of the collectible ones, and I sold them in the last uh, price rise that we had, the big price rise back, I believe it was 2011. For me, when I collected um, things, I was really into to coins. Um, as an example, here's an 1808 half dollar. Um, and I have a number of these old half dollars as well as silver dollars. This one here is an 1826. And I collected other types of coins like this Indian head cent here, um, which is a 1905. And um, here's an 1898. Um, as I say, these are the types of things I really, when I was collecting, that's what I was collecting. Generally, when I buy, I just try to buy bullion. And the reason for that is, is that back in 1979, 1980, I was very active in the um, gold and silver bullion markets. And I saw what happened with what refineries and um, other dealers were willing to pay. The um, collectible market had pretty well dried up and everything, no matter what it was, became bullion price. And actually at one point, um, the refineries were paying well below bullion prices. So I always avoided the collectible coins, but I know there's a, a lot of you out there that love collectibles. And when the prices are low like they are these days, actually, that's a, a great area to be getting into. But I just thought I would share with you um, an area that you may not be aware of. These are um, silver casino rounds. They're also known as casino strikes. And um, these are ones that someone just recently sold to me. And um, I got them pretty darn close to bullion prices, so I was happy since I was not really too familiar with them, and I did a little research on them, and apparently they are pretty collectible. Um, there were a number of different series and a number of different casinos that put these out. Um, actually, most of them did put them out. These are all Colorado ones. Uh, this one here is from Central Station in Blackhawk. And... This is from the uh, Criminal Series, Mafia Series. This one here is Bugsy Siegel and Al Capone. Um, and this one here is also from, uh, there's actually just two casinos here that this person brought me. This one here is also from Central Station in Black Hawk. And then there was a Native American Series, uh, which... Actually, I love the Native American ones here, so I may look to add some more of these. This is Red Cloud here. And this one here is from, let's see who this one was from. If there's a, nope, there's no um, casino name on this particular one. But, you know, it's nice design. And apparently these have come, and this one here is um, from the Native American series. And... I have a few of those, I, you know, here's <clears throat> what looks like a hawk. Um, this is from the Teller House, which is a famous place up in Central City. And uh, this one here has got a deer on it. This one here is from uh, Colorado Central Station. And... Uh, I just thought I'd share some of these with you folks because there is a very collectible market for these apparently. And I'm going to reset up here in a minute. This one here is a buffalo. Actually a bison is what they really are. But, um, but <clears throat> so I got fascinated with these once I saw them. Um, I, I was aware that they were available up um, 
in Central City in Blackhawk uh, years ago. I had a couple of times tried to play at the machines to win these and um, never had much luck with it. So when these came along, I was kind of happy to do it. But let me share a couple of websites with you folks. Um, and these are pretty actively traded on um, eBay as well. But there's a couple of specialty sites here I will share with you in just a minute. But apparently these came in, um, and you do have to be careful. If you're going to get into this, you want to make sure these are Mark 999, um, such as down here, because apparently some of these in the more recent years have been made with um, a silver overlay. This particular series here has a brass ring around the outside and a silver in the center, whereas these are all 999 fine silver. Um, and apparently they made these in different denominations from $2 all the way up to hundreds of dollars. And each one's going to have a different weight of silver. From what little bit I've done um, in research here so far, it looks like most of these have a, a little over a half of an ounce of silver in them. 0 0.60 ounces, I believe, is what I saw there. But um, just wanted to share with you a little something for you folks that love to um, buy collectible silver. Um, maybe this is another area that may be worth you... Um, examining a little bit and seeing if it's something you'd be interested in. Um, as I say, there's a lot of different series out there and um, some of them would be interesting. It would be kind of interesting to complete this series with uh, the wildlife and I would love to collect the series with the uh, Native Americans on here. I mean, I'm really not much into the Mafia ones, but these are well done. I mean, this, this uh, one here of Al Capone has some really nice detail in it and um, I think they might be an area that might be worth examining. Um, it looks like most of them are selling, some of them seem to be a little bit rarer than others, but it looks like most of them are selling for a little bit like two times over melt value, which seems a little high, um, but if there is a heavy collector market on it, that um, may offset that in lower silver price times, but as prices get higher, um, as the silver bullion price gets higher, as I mentioned, um, <clears throat> I saw the um, silver market actually collapse and um, collectible silver was only worth bullion values. But if we wind up make, if you're buying things like this at these prices now and the silver price runs back up into the $50 range, um, you look, it looks like you'd still be able to pretty much get your money back out of them. But again, I just want to share those with you folks a little bit. I'm going to make this short video. I'm going to reset up here with uh, my computer and I'm going to show you a few websites that are ones that you might want to check out. And as I say, you can find these on eBay um, under, you could type in silver strikes, casino silver strikes, uh, casino silver rounds, um, <clears throat> these are really, I don't think I saw anything under um, casino tokens. Those are mainly the actual casino tokens, which are made out of different materials. But just a few areas that you could do a little research in. But let me set up the computer. Let me clear this out. And I will get back to you in just a moment and show you a few websites that might interest you. Okay, folks, I've got it set up here. Um, this particular site that I have here set up right now is um, from River City Coins. And um, this happens to be their casino tokens section here. Let's see if I can get this to work here. What's going on with my computer? Okay. So <clears throat> this one here is the section of their website that's got the casino rounds and that in it. and. Um, you can see there's different series in here. There's Marilyn Monroe and uh, Madonna, Michael Jackson. So, and then they've got a Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer series. Uh, Clark Gable. So I guess they've got some from um, Hollywood Classics. Uh, Legends of Baseball series. There's the, um, on the right there, there's the uh, Native American series, which is like the one that I have. I have the Red Cloud, that's Sitting Bull. 
You can see the prices that they have listed here. These are selling for about $30 for those. And then the miscellaneous casino ones, uh, you know, it looks like they've got some that are from music and uh, other various different things. These look like they're around $20. <clears throat> um, but I thought I would share that with you, this site here. Um, I have searched... These actually came to me a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just getting around now to show them to you folks now. Um, but I did do a little research on eBay a few weeks ago when these came to me, and it looks like from time to time there are some pretty good buys on these, getting them pretty close to the bullion value. Sometimes they're selling for quite a bit more. But this particular uh, website that I have up now is silverstrikers.com, and this is the official website of the Silver Strikers Club. So this is kind of interesting here, too, for you folks, uh, giving a little bit of information and background on what these uh, actually are. A um, little discussion about what Silver Strikes are, a little discussion there on what the composition of them is in the different denominations. <clears throat> I didn't check the ones that I have here, but apparently some of these have mint marks on them. And as you can see down near the bottom there, one of the mints that did it, uh, did these is the Perth Mint. So uh, not all of them were actually minted here in the United States, apparently. And over here on the sidebar, you can see there's different things there that you could check out. Current news, uh, strikes in play, strike uh, online catalog, uh, related tokens catalog, uh, there's a little information about membership in the club. So just a little something I wanted to share with you folks. Um, I really do like this Native American series here and I think I'm going to do a little research more on these and see if um, I can find more of these that I might be able to get closer to bullion. And of course, living here in Colorado, um, I love the wildlife series as well. So I may look into doing some more of these uh, in the future if I could find them at decent buys. Just wanted to share that with you folks today. A um, little something that might bring interest to the people out there that love collectible silver. Um, not something I'm going to get heavy into. I'm more of a bullion buyer. I like having it as close to the bullion price as possible. And as I said, when I did collect, I collected uh, U.S. coins predominantly. But over this next couple of years, I'm probably going to be liquidating most of my coins. And just going back to concentrating on bullion. But I may start collecting a little bit of this here in the future. Well, I'm glad you folks could join me today. Um, <clears throat> just a little something different uh, for some of you that may not be aware of this type of collectible silver out there and maybe something you want to check out a little bit more. Um, I did check the price of silver and gold this morning. Not a lot of movement going on. I will do an update on that sometime this week. The stock market's closed today. Um, I'm expecting that uh, if any kind of news comes out on the coronavirus um, here over the next couple of days, it is going to affect the market a little bit. So I will keep an eye on that and I will do an update on that sometime this week with you folks. And I just want to thank you all for joining me today. I want to thank all of you that have been supporters since the beginning. I really appreciate every one of you. Um, if you're new to my site, please um, click the uh, subscribe button and click the little bell next to it so you can keep track of any of my new videos. That helps the, uh, the channel greatly. Uh, leaving comments helps a great deal, not just for my channel, but for other people out there that um, watch these videos and read the comments. Maybe some of you have more information about these silver strikes that you would like to share with people, or maybe you'd like to share what kind of collectible silver you like to collect, or if you are just strictly into bullion. Well, until next time, folks, thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. This is GD. Take care.